Hi everyone, I'm Fiona Webb. And today I'm going to be showing you on this video how to pack down your order when it comes so you can get it out and deliver it to your customers. So, when your order arrives, you'll have a varying number of boxes. As you can see here, we've got three boxes in this delivery. And we've also got one bundle over here, which tends to be brooms and handles and anything that won't fit into a box. Now, before you start to pack it down, you need to make sure you've got everything you need ready to be really, really efficient. So, what you need to make sure you've got is firstly a set of catalogues, in case you need to look any products up. You obviously need your customer orders. You need a stapler. You need your thank you slips to go in the bag. Now, there is a master thank you slip on the Rhino Group support site, which you can print off, or you can personalise your own, as we've done here. You need spare order forms, a pen, some scissors, and a selection of bags to put the goods in, depending on what size the products are. We've got snappy catalog bags here, we've got small carrier bags, and we've got large carrier bags also. So, let's start with one of the boxes and see what's in there and show you how to unpack it. So let's start with this small box here. So we'll bring this down here, we'll take the scissors, we'll open the box. You can see how it all comes well sealed up inside of here. So we'll just get into the products. Every box has its own delivery note inside. So the next thing to do is get your delivery note out and then we're going to be checking off the items against the delivery note. So if I just pop that down here and get the pen, now I can swap them over for ease of use. Okay, first item on here is a fat separated jug. So if I look in the box, this looks promising. So I say, right, yes, fat separated jug. That's there, so I can tick it off. Next thing is a window shield. It's a good way of getting to know what the products are when you're sorting out your deliveries. So this looks rather like it. Yes, window shield. So I can tick that off. Banana keepers, there should be three of those. Quite easy to find. One, two, three. So they can be ticked off now. Facial disc, it's going to be a small item, there we go. Next thing is a microband cutter, which there should be two of these. That looks like them, double check, yes, two of those. Then some replacement blades, we have them there. Then some cedar discs. Looks like those. Yep, cedar discs, so let's tip those off. Gel toe spreaders. One of those. That's that one. Ball of foot cushion. One of those. Then we have that. And a dishwashing brush. That's the only thing left in the box, and there's two of them. That would be correct. Tip those off, and then there's two newsletters. There we go, that's the contents of the first box, all present, correct, and checked off. Okay, so as you can see now, we've got everything packed down from the order, everything's checked off on the delivery notes, and it's all laid out, and as even as we can, to make sure we can see the products quite easily. Just one thing to say, though, is make sure that you keep some of your delivery notes, because on the top of the left-hand corner, you'll notice they have a returns label, and you need to make sure you've always got some of these in stock, just in case you need to send any items back doesn't happen very often but you just need to make sure you don't throw them all away out of habit. Okay, so let's start now to pack down the deliveries. First order we've got then, let's have a look. Just one item on this order, it's a Y peeler. So we'll have a look for the Y peeler, shouldn't be too difficult to find. That looks like it there. So we'll take that, it's the only item on the order so I only need a small bag to pop that in. So what we're going to do is going to get a snappy bag and pop that in. open the top part. Very straightforward. Then I'm going to pop the wife here into the bag. I'm going to pop the thank you slip in with the bag as well. And then what I'm going to do is split out the order form into two parts. We keep the pink copy and the top copy goes back to the customer as the receipt. Now normally we staple this to the front of the bag but because it's a snappy bag it's nice and easy. It saves on the staples. We just pop it inside the bag so it's easy to see whose order it is seal it up and then as you pack down the orders you just want to collect them together in a box so then they're ready for taking out to deliver. 
So if we look at the next order, it's got three items on there. So the first thing we're looking for is an alarm clock. It's going to be in a box, I would gather. Yes, alarm clock here. And then we want plate covers, which is this box here, and a stonish cleaner, which is over here. So that's going to need a larger bag. So we'll come over here. Pack my items into the bag. Remember to put the thank you slip in the bag. And separate the order form. So the customer gets the top copy again as we see. This time, because it's a carry bag, we're going to staple it onto the front, just like this. So that order is now packed and ready to go. Put it in the box with the rest, and you carry on through the rest of your orders. Okay, so now we've got everything packed down. It's all in the boxes. It's all in sort of street areas, if you like, and the orders are packed in order of we're going to be delivering them which makes it a lot easier when you're trying to uh, root around in the back of the car. And then the next thing we recommend you do is make sure you've got your pink copies of the order forms all in your delivery order. Again, makes it a lot easier. You just do the first one and move on to the second one. You don't have to worry about what street you're going to next. So that's it. We're ready to go and get these orders out. Just the other thing to say is before you go out, you need to make sure that you've got some float available because everybody won't have the change. So now time to um, just check finally the addition on the order forms as well. If somebody's ordered more than one item, you may find that their maths isn't particularly brilliant and you don't want to do the customers down or do yourself down. So make sure you do check the addition before you deliver. So that's it. You've got your orders, you've got your floats, you've checked the order forms. So now let's go and get cash in our pocket.